Okay, let's prepare our servos so we can get them uh, mounted in the frames in our wings. Take your um, mold release wax and you want to coat the servos and you're basically going to concentrate on the uh, the bonding side of the servos or the sides that are going to be laying against the wing skins. So I just take a rag and wipe it in the, in the wax and we'll just start applying it to the servos. Just try to get a lot of the surfaces like this. Get in near your tabs and along the back side and the, the front edge. You don't have to worry about trying to polish out this wax or anything. It's not like we're, you know, laying up parts in a mold. Okay. Now, another important thing is you want to make sure you get plenty of wax in these nooks and crannies near um, where the screws are around the screw head. And if there's little in, uh, any indents in the servo case, you don't want any resin going in here and um, trapping the servo from, from coming out. So I just take a Q-tip and I put a little wax on that and I just just push some wax in to those, all those little cracks. Like this. I use my fingers too. There's little details here you have to fill and just push the the Q-tip in there, and again, you just want to make sure that you you know your servos don't get stuck. So just put a little more wax, and then I usually go with these kinds of servos with the dual tabs. I put a little bit of wax on the underside and around like this. And then I always put like a little fillet um, under the output shaft. And I, and I get some wax on the output shaft too, just in case. The wax isn't going to hurt the servo in any way. And you can always wipe it off later. So just like that. And that's a pretty good coat. And I'll just uh, give this another little wipe down. And then let, 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 let this sit for maybe uh, 10 or 20 minutes and let the wax kind of harden up a little bit. And then we'll uh, get ready to put our PVA um, film on there. I have a couple more servos to do since I'm building a few airplanes at the same time. These are KST servos and it's the same deal. Just wipe them down a little bit. Make sure you get good coat all over the bottom side of the bonding surface of the servo and with this kind of servo where the wire is pretty exposed I'll just wipe down the wire a little bit too just in case just like that and again you want to get some wax in the screw heads and fill all the little nooks and crannies of the screw heads and the areas around them so that the resin doesn't trap your servos. Just like that. And then again, let that sit and sort of cure up a little bit. And do another one. So I've let my servos dry up for about 15 minutes. And the next thing I'm going to do is apply a coat of this PVA. It's, it's kind of like a liquid film and you apply it and you let it dry and it's uh, water soluble so uh, you can clean it off with just a, a damp rag or, or, or a brush with some water on it. And I actually like to use bits of this foam. This is like a packaging foam. I have a bunch of it laying around and I find it um, 
It applies the PVA better and it has less streaking than using a, a brush. You can certainly use a brush, I just prefer to use this. So let's get some of this on our servos. And I just pour a little bit in the cap right there. And this stuff comes in green and purple. And I don't know really what the difference is. But I've used them both and they work just about the same. And I just brush some on your servo. You want to make sure you're getting these 90 degree angles in all the corners. Like this. Get well up the sides of the servos. And again, this stuff will come right off with just a damp rag. Usually I don't even clean it off, I just leave it on the servos. And that's it. Let's do this guy. You can you can wipe it and, and blot it. Usually blotting works better for trying to get the parts with little details or cracks or crevices. And just make sure you kind of go up the servo and push it in between the tabs. Get a little bit on the wire. And that's it. So do all your servos and you're going to want to let these dry really well. Um, this stuff kind of shrinks when it dries and it'll pull tight and you can see it's, it's, it's kind of streaky and blotchy But once it dries it'll it'll look like nothing's on there, but you want to make sure it completely dries You can even put this in front of a fan for a while or if it's if, if it's uh, if you're doing this and it's warm in your house It'll dry pretty quickly, but give it a good. I don't know 30 minutes to an hour to um, to dry up Okay, I have my little uh, pike perfection assembly line going on here and I'm gonna prep all the flap servo bays to bond the uh, servo frames in. And I'm just gonna use just a piece of uh, 80 grit sandpaper to scuff up the uh, insides of the servo bays. So I'll move this wire back. I'll just tape it up here so it's out of the way. And then take your piece of sandpaper and just get in here and, and really Get a good scuff going. So once you've scuffed up the, the servo bay, I usually take some rubbing alcohol and just wipe out, wipe down the uh, the bay. So you get a good, so you clean it up and you get a good bond. So there you go. And what you want to see is that the um, there's no shiny areas. Uh, in the skin where you're going to be putting mounting your servo and that's pretty good so the, the pva is dry now on these servos and what we're going to do next is mount the servos into their frames and when you do that you want to be careful uh, not to touch the surfaces that you've put the pva and wax on so you don't um, remove or distort any of the the mold releases so let's finish up mounting these servos in their frames. The precision of fit on these RC Solutions frames is, is really good. They're super consistent even though they're wood and they're CNC'd. I found that they, they always fit the same. They're always nice and snug. and I, I, I really like that. It just goes to show you the uh, the care that they put into their products. And since I've started using these servo frames, I, I really I really wouldn't want to use anything else. And just run the 
Run the screws in. D and um, if you're using these RC Solutions frames, be careful not to over tighten these screws. I mean, just barely snug is is all you need, especially if you're going to be taking these in and out a few times as you're setting up your model. Um, you don't want to strip out the uh, the wood, so just just snug them up. And then put them down, um, top down, so you don't don't put them down on your on your workbench on the surface you're bonding. And let's do this last KST servo, and then we'll be ready to mount these guys into our wings.